Okay, so let's get into the symbols and arrows and see what we can modify there. So I'm going to go modify my dimension style. And again, if you've already forgotten, it's D to get into your dimension style or click the icon on the ribbon or on the toolbar. Um, go to your symbols and arrows tab. <clears throat> your arrows... <clears throat> um, sorry, I know I, I, I grunt a lot sometimes and clear my throat because I... Uh, whatever, I talk a lot. Get into like dry mouth. Okay. Um, you're going to choose here your arrowheads. These are linked and they are going to stay... Uh, you can change the second one separately and then like you can do this one like if you set them the same like close field close field and then you go set like architectural tick it'll set them both but if you set your second one to be different then you can independently change them as you needed but if you put them back to be the same type they'll they'll link together so if i go from close field to architectural tick it'll change both of them so just that's how you get back and forth um that, that's going to be your arrows on the end, your arrow type. And you've got a bunch of them. You've got close, close, blank, uh, this other style of close that get dots, architectural tick. Oblique is like the same thing, but as architectural tick, but thinner. Just all these different styles you can use. Um, I, I inter Integrals, another one I use sometimes. Or even a user arrow if you have like your own block you want to use. Uh, leader is the exact same thing. It's just it puts it on the leader, which is this is this is a leader right here. It'll put it on the leader instead of uh, the dimension line. It applies whatever this is to the the leader, and you can edit the stuff and all the stuff in properties. Um, you have your arrow size, so I'll change that to like I don't know. I'll go to um, three eighths, and you'll see it go jumbo size. Okay. Uh, Center marks, I don't use center marks, but when you do apply a center mark, you can choose to have like none, a mark, or like lines like this. Again, more for assemblies and choose the size of it. Um, dimensional breaks. Earlier when I was doing an auto break around a line, remember I drew a line through the extension line and I went to do the dim break command and I just clicked it and the, the default is set to auto. And I said, I think the break size is set to one eighth. <clears throat> That's, <clears throat> um, if I did video editing, any, if I did any amount of video editing, First of all, these videos would be like miles better, but also this is the point where I would go reference that old clip and then I come back and say, see, I did say that. Uh, this controls the break size of your auto-generated uh, dim break from this dim break um, command up here, the icon. So change that, change that, changing that size will increase or decrease that gap that gets created. Over here is your arc length. Um, I don't really do arc length dimensions, uh, but if you need to, you, this shows... Uh, how to place the text. Uh, jog angle. This is for if you're doing that radius jog we did here, that specifically for this one here. And then you have your jog height factor. So this is kind of a silly one. I'm going to try to explain this the best that I can, but simply, this is a scale factor. This is a scale factor that is multiplied times your text height. It tells you right here. So the size of the jog scale is one and a half, by default, one and a half times your text height. So if your text height is one inch, then your jog height will be one and a half inch. I typically like to set mine to one um, because uh, I like it to be the same size as the text height. It tends to fit better under the text whenever I get into the text tab and start modifying it. I and I, I'll put I always put my jog in the center. If the jog is too large, it'll it'll interrupt your text. It'll overlap, and then you got to move it off to the side. And I don't know. I like to have my jogs in the center. Just saying. So I put my jog height at one times the text height, which is basically just my jog height is the same size as my text height. So, and that's everything here in the symbols and arrows uh, tab.